Welcome back to Let's Play Cognition. This is episode one, part five. Okay. Robert is in the interrogation room. I need to tell John. So this guy that we picked up last time, now we've got to interrogate him, even though he's a witness, not a suspect. I Look, if I was a cop, I'd interrogate everyone. Actually, I think if you were a cop, you would interview everyone and interrogate no one, because they don't like you to use the word interrogate. Well, I like using McCoy? words you're not meant to use. Red. That's why you're not a cop. Probably for the I best. I found something really interesting. Yeah? Whoever did this left clues Really interesting. You didn't find anything really case. interesting. Yeah, I, I guess I, I don't think... Thing. This other case? Uh, I get the feeling he's so jaded too, now, he just but it goes... Was as a suicide. Mm, yes, Apparently the husband insisted it was a murder. Oh, you've discovered you something, doing? Erica. Yes, go on, tell me about it. Keep me posted. He doesn't seem to be sitting in that chair. I found something interesting in Davy's office. Reed, tell Look, me you someone's didn't speak in there. Relax. Moving in or Listen standing or sitting in Davey's an awkward way there. in this game? It mentioned someone was going to be hanged before the killing. So that's why she brought us in. The message also points to a package left in the post office for Davies. Davy shredded the message. It must not have been fully shredded because later she pulled it and saved what was left. But why didn't she just mention this last night? She's walking on eggshells and last time we cracked one a lot went wrong. But we have a killer on the loose. She should have told us everything. You don't know everything that's happened around here, Red. Trust me on this, kiddo. Why? I'm going to call her. What, what, what her. good reason does she have to trust him? I've brought Robert Goodman with me. He's the husband of that other victim I told you about. Good. Do you want a good cop, bad cop him? No. Let me handle this one. All right. Let's go. I'll watch from outside. Hey, I heard you have Robert Goodman here. Yeah. You know, Erica, let the kid handle it with you. This was his case, after all. Plus, Sully can do some good grilling. So you're determined to keep your lazy ass attached to your desk for the whole day. So they are going to do nah, the good cop, bad cop I think cop you thing. should go, McCoy. This is your case now. So who do yeah, you want, Erica? they say that, but no. You can actually choose either one. And it does change something slightly, but not in a way that makes any sense. Yeah. Let's go, And not in a way you care about at all. Yeah, no, like, like there's like a couple of puzzles that change slightly, but they're go ahead, just Red. dumb either way. Ah, uh, okay. And every time you want to go into this interrogation room, have to get you have to go to this screen first, and then go him. through the door. <laughs> oh. See, like, I can't actually click on him from out here. I need to get into the room for that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Who set it up this way? But fortunately, I have cut most of this transition stuff out of the video. I just left it in here to show what it's like. That's fair enough. Do, do we actually do anything important at this side of the room that's important? No, like no. nothing happens on this observation side so at all. It, it's not like we come out here and right, ask him Mr. some Goodman? questions I'm and he goes, well, perhaps you should ask about this, and then we go and we know. ask about that. And I, wouldn't have I don't know, maybe you can do insane. that, but like oh, there wasn't any copying. need to. I'm not do they actually do that in cop interviews? Because you know, it, it just sounds hungry. like it makes the cops look like they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, just like, hang on, I just gotta go check something with my friend. I'll be back. Oh, I think I left the kettle on. I better go out. <laughs> and he wants some food, so, hey, we've got these donuts. I don't have a reason to do that now. But, no. No. You can't donut him. I thought donuts were for the Robert, other guy. please stay here. Yeah, so I did I. Turns out done. they're not. Don't take long. But you also can't give them to this guy yet. <laughs> that, that was, I love the way she stands up. She does this shuffle like, she, oh, I wish I was at the nightclub. <sighs> if I was at the disco tech strutting my stuff, it'd be so cool. Again, someone moving in an awkward and odd way in this game. So even when you leave, you have to come so out to this side of the window first. <laughs> Keep an eye on the guy. He won't be going nowhere. Well, yes, he's in an interview room. I imagine. <laughs> what do you mean he won't be going anywhere? He's not under arrest, he's a witness. To what, I don't know, because we actually have no reason to be talking to him at this stage. I was going to say, John's a cop who, you know, doesn't play by the rules. He makes his own. Ah, yes. <laughs> but but damn he gets, it, he gets, gets results. Them. Yeah. I need some money for it. I, I assume he gets results. He hasn't got any results so far in this game. But... Hang on. We can pick locks without any problem. 
yet we can't haven't worked out a way to get free food from the vending machine. No. Yes, this is the dumbest puzzle in the entire game. It's literally, you have coins in your desk, you need them for the vending machine. Why aren't they in her pocket? I don't know. Why is this even a thing? You should just click on the vending machine and she'd just have money because she's a human being. Well, if I'm honest, I don't always carry money around on me. Maybe we'll leave it yeah, on but the she said earlier in the game that she uses that vending machine all the time. Oh, then yeah, you can have it with you. Do you get to choose what food you pick? No. <laughs> We've got favoritos. Oh, great. Oh, and another completely pointless puzzle. The chips got stuck. <laughs> so you hit the vending machine. Like, it's not even a puzzle, it's literally the What's first thing you try. Thing? There is no way that would have fallen down from that kick. <laughs> like, it just sat there for a bit and then gone, ah, oh. yeah, well, I suppose The I'll entire just... glass front of the machine just sort of bent inwards. Yeah. So it looks like you could probably just wiggle that glass pane out and just get anything you want out of the vending machine any time. Walk slowly over <laughs> and sit down. It's like they sort of stopped animating it halfway through and go, ah, oh, fuck, near enough. No one will care. No one will notice. Well, they, they never actually tested it, so they didn't realise how annoying it was that you had to do this every time. <laughs> oh, that was lovely. Good. They just pulled the bag <laughs> from out of her chest. Pull. <laughs> What's he doing? Uh, oh, he's opening I'm, He's, oh yeah, opening the pack. Yeah, that that's what that was. How about something sweet? And now he wants the donuts, which we absolutely could not give him earlier. Oh, I thought he was looking for a kiss. And all those hints earlier in the game about John likes donuts. You. Hey, you remember how John likes donuts? <laughs> all that is completely irrelevant. Like I say, these donuts have been pretty so manky by now. now, Mr. Goodman. Yeah. Oh, you think that's bad? Apparently, if you choose Sully instead of John, the difference to this puzzle Sarah. is that you have to give him the uh, egg sandwich from your desk as well. Oh. You don't believe she committed suicide. That's terrible. I didn't believe it was possible yeah. at the time. There's new information, and... I've spent a long time trying to convince you people she hadn't killed herself. But that was such a long time ago. Sir... I'm a firm believer that it's never too late for justice. I imagine if you're interviewing like this, you probably shouldn't call them sir mistake. if they're yeah, tell that to Agent Davies sort of like and Agent McAdams. I don't know. The, he is, after all, a witness, not a suspect. I, so. I like how they probably didn't have the money to say which one was listening. But I don't see the point in all so they said both. Sarah is gone, and that's something that will never change. Hmm. Did wonder what option we should choose enemies? there. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone who might have wanted to kill me. You already have all that information in your case files. Do you have any new information or not? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, not new information, but I got this locket. I don't have a reason to do that now. <laughs> and guess what? The locket is going to be something we have to show him in a minute. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Do you know this man? That's horrible. So, now I'm this section this is really That's confusing, so really pay attention. This is the dead guy currently in the morgue. Night. Yep, Wait. gotcha. That's... I do know that man. Do you know his name? Yes, of course. He... Uh, I don't... I don't remember. Anything yeah. that you can help I'm with. Not Where that. do you know him from? Anything? I'm sorry, Agent. I just... I don't remember. And this begins the longest and most involved puzzle in the entire game. Trying to get this, this guy to remember to the this. dead guy's name. But this is literally rubbing things against item and hoping that something works. This necklace. That locket I couldn't show I him a minute ago? Now I need to show it to him. I haven't seen that thing in ages. It belonged to my wife. May I? Well, you already are. anniversary gift. Yeah, Where may you, you what? It? I visited her grave. I used to do that, religiously, 
day after day, and until I just stopped. Is that when you last saw the locket? Because I'm pretty sure I know how it got there. Just like <laughs> the life. Except it wouldn't still be there. Someone must have just put it there recently, knowing that Erica would come and find it somehow. Oh, the chips are useful. <laughs> Robert, I need you to think back and look for the name of this man in the picture. I'm trying. I'm remembering the last time I met with my wife. He came up in that conversation. I just can't remember well. The details are... Uh... Robert, Memory can be a please weird thing, try but... to think back to that moment. Have you ever lost someone you love, Agent? You want to hold on to the memories for as long as you can, but they dissipate through the years. Is this actually happening? Uh, is this a vision or just for our moments. benefit? Oh, there's stuff happening on the table. I tried yeah. for too long to hold on to a ghost, and it didn't get me anywhere. Now I don't want to remember. Robert, How convenient for you I know that you exactly can't remember. What it is Wait. to lose someone you love. <laughs> just in case I we've lost forgotten. my brother to a murderer. And I know what it is to chase ghosts too. But this there is a, is a real chance here that if you're right, <laughs> don't let the strange If your ghost. wife was indeed murdered, we may find this person. So please help us. It was the last time we met. We were at a train station. I was about to leave on a business trip uh, again. Sarah was sad. She didn't want me to go. Sarah. She hated this town. And then we just get this with no explanation. And also, they're floating all around I like this in an annoying manner. Out of this. What? So memory My number one. Oh, too confused. Maybe I should pay. I told you this is the longest and most involved puzzle in the game. <laughs> Robert, please stay here. I have to get something done. <laughs> Don't take long. Oh yeah, I gotta go do some mining. Have a thing. You just wait here. <laughs> if I come back smelling like beer, that's just your imagination. <laughs> well, he is apparently homeless now, so he probably doesn't mind too no, much sitting here right. with a pack of chips and I a donut. I need to figure out all the details before focusing my energies. All right. What? Just like Why Will's do you need to figure out the details focus before? Focus on three things and three things only. And we've got one of those three things makes the vision thing visions, but oh, um, okay. but we don't have the three things yet, so we actually have to bring two more things into the room to be able to use it. Well, that just sounds annoying. Yeah, pretty much. And to figure out the floaty thing, memory, we have to talk to Rose again. Uh, why? I think this is like the shortest rose section in the entire game, so... Okay. Not too bad. Hello, Rose. Hello, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, my dear? How's that case you were asking about last night? I'm having some issues with it. S something maybe you could help me with? Tell everything to Mama Rose. I'm talking to this man. I need to help him remember something. I can see his memories somehow. So those projections on the table were psychic can't stuff. Yes. People sometimes bury details, but you'd be surprised how much they can like remember. She says she can see his right memories direction. somehow. Yeah, like when the psychic. sweet smell of a bakery reminds you of mom's delicious baked goods. Hmm. Right. But how can I figure what will trigger him to remember? Just try but you everything. you can do much more than just that. You can see what they think they have forgotten. No, no they have He's forgotten. a little twitchy already. Does everyone's I psychic powers work in the stuff. same way? Because, like, that Rose just goes, Oh yeah, this is how it works. Yeah, you for everyone, I guess. Well, well yeah, it's like everyone bought a, you know, a IBM word. and just read the manual and it's all good. Is a kind of yeah, they're all the same. That's fine. Regression. How? 
Is there anything in particular? It'd be nice if she actually wrote a manual so we'd never actually have to come and talk to her again. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I could go back to the time when when my brother was killed. Why? Why would oh, you want to go back dear. to that? Are you sure this is something you want to do? It can be very damaging to your soul. A thing like that. She already lived through it, so it's probably damaged already. So is that a metaphor, like, or is it actually damaging to your soul? Because if souls are real, as we assume they may be in a world of psychics, uh, I will you wouldn't good. want to actually damage your soul. That seems like a really bad thing. Yeah, I mean, it's like, can it just be repaired? You know, do you just take it into the go shop and go, that hey, that did. just uh, touch Remember it up a bit, yeah, yeah paint's happened. a bit chip, but fix it up, it'll be right. <laughs> right, we've now acquired the power of regression. We didn't do anything. Oh, I gotta do it. Alright, go ahead. Quick, do it! I can see him. But I can't quite remember. She got a photo what of him. What is she fuzzy could... to you right now? It's silly, but I can't remember the color of his jacket. What else? I don't know if he was calm or angry or sad. I can't remember. Surprisingly cheerful, I would have said. Angry at me. Yeah, if I remember correctly, he seemed like a little too Try to remember what it really was, not the memory you painted since. Tell me when you're ready, my dear. The point of misremembering things is that, you know, protects your psyche from all the shitty things that happen in your life every single day. But that's not the point of being a psychic, though. Being a psychic means... Being an idiot. Find things out for no reason. What? Why? Well, I should probably read the words here, shouldn't I? Uh, yeah, you just right. have to fix the things that are wrong in the picture by Maybe. clicking on them until they get right. What was that uh, face he just pulled before? <laughs> I almost went past that, but I went, wait, I gotta see this. Because <laughs> that's a hilarious face. I think I got it. Now focus Is this basically again. try and focus get the combination the and click and finish that okay. memory you have just manipulated yeah. back into what it was. Memory games are really annoying in games, because, you know, I could play a game and not be able to play it for a week. Yeah. Well, in this, it's, like, that puzzle was easy, because, I mean, okay? the jacket colour we've seen several Sorry. times since, Cordelia? and the facial expression Someone was I easy to remember. Mm. She knows you. I stole a flower from her brother's grave. <laughs> I'm such a horrible person. That's true, you are. Who does that? What kind of a person forgets to bring flowers bad person, to a brother bad police and steals officer. them from another grave? <laughs> bad psychic. Calm down, my dear. He was calm, Scotty. He had this expression on his face. So, he he I guess we're just going to ignore the fact that Cordelia was there now. That brought that up just to drop it again. Where was Cordelia actually he meant to be? I had cause... failed. But you are still trying, yeah, I my dear. couldn't tell. Like it, it just, we certainly that. didn't see her in the uh, prologue did, section itself, and we just got a close up of her face in her memory there. So yeah, I don't know where she was. She was hanging out at the grave. Well, yeah, that's because she'd been hanging out because someone close to her died, and that's where she hangs out. It's like her home. I imagine it turns out that she's. You'd think we would have seen her though. Like we would have seen her when we were walking around looking at the statue and the. Digging up the toolbox or whatever it was. We're not exactly particularly, you know. Oh, we can go straight to the interrogation. Yeah, that's something. Like one small thing that they did right. <laughs> you still have to go through the outside room. I just cut that out. Yeah. I'm back. I might smell like incense, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> have to go through this stupid animation every time. <laughs> I don't know. Even if you're homeless, I'd imagine just sitting in here would be incredibly like dull, and you'd be thinking all the homeless people are now stealing my stuff. Okay, let's see what I. Well, he finished off this. the chips and donut. I don't know. Is that true? Well, 
right. So now um, we have to find out the details for all these pictures to figure out so what's sad. wrong with each one so that we can get the memory back for him. Oh, great. I can't figure out what color dress she was wearing. Oh, and it's really annoying. Like, you have to actually click on the thing before you Do can you talk to him about that subject. She was wearing that day? Oh, Why are you asking me these questions? It could help you remember details. I can't remember. Your wife was beautiful. Yes, she always will be. <laughs> You'd think he'd be thinking that. Wait, how do you know that? <laughs> I assume he can't see these psychic he projections. Took a of her. Maybe this could help trigger more memories. What were you doing before you left? Did you have your cell phone with you? Did you receive any calls? I... Yes, I did. And I took a picture of Sarah. What did you do after? I sent it to my sister. I don't know how this is of any help. Trust me, it is. Do you remember what color dress she was wearing that day? I can't remember. Yeah, this doesn't sound annoying at all. How can I find the date? See, now that I've clicked the date, I can ask him about the date, There's but I couldn't before. From Karina. Hmm. How long ago did this girl die? Uh, like a few Do years, I think. Do you remember the date when this happened? No, I don't. Sorry. This is remarkably lucky. Because What's your sister's name? Karina. You know, I haven't seen. I have a house and a job, and I. Did she I'm doing to good not to break a phone her? every two yeah. years. She she commented on... Oh no, this isn't an actual phone. This is a vision oh, of a phone. Vision of a phone. The color of the dress because it was her favorite color. What is that? Blue. Karina's favorite color is blue. It was our mother's favorite color as well. That's good because I actually don't know my sister's favorite color. Yet let alone know my mother's favorite color. And now that we've got the answer, we can select it. it. You still have to manually select it, though. It doesn't automatically fill no, that in, even though you right. know it. What? What do you mean that's not right? Yeah, she says that's not right, but what she means is some of the stuff in the other photos is not right yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, it's, it was confusing to me when I was playing it, and I clicked that button so many times in various they made photos nice trying to make it be Ooh. like... Who would okay, say splendid so. when it's their favourite colour? What station were they at? <laughs> well, who says splendid at all? Robert, you mentioned the last time you saw your wife was at a train station. Can you remember what station it was? Oh gosh. I don't remember what station it was, but I do remember I took her to a Thai restaurant on Boylston Street. Her favourite place. They have the best chicken curry in town. We went to the closest station on our way back. Do you remember the name it's of the restaurant? It's pretty confusing that he remembers it was on no. Boylston Street, yeah, and I'm sure Boylston remember. is one of the available yeah. stations, but it's the wrong one. Oh, of course. What was your wife's dress color again? Blue. <laughs> it was blue. <laughs> you just asked that for no reason. <laughs> so, yeah. I thought, oh, it was on Boylston Street, it would be Boylston Station, obviously. It's not. No. And you can't check that yet, because you can only check once you've got to everything info. filled in. My visions are too confused. Do we have to go back to the psychic woman to work this out? Uh, no. No? We do have to no, go to a lot of other right. bullshit, though. Just exiting out of the vision. Robert, please stay here. I have to get something done. I think I should wave her finger at us, not at him. Well, why is she waving her finger at all? But <laughs> also, I like how she always just says, "I have to get something done." Like in the middle of this interview, <laughs> she's just standing there using her phone right in front of him. Ooh, good Thai <laughs> restaurant. I better look that up. Adventure, fantasy, historical, sci-fi, self-help. Yeah, 
plus you click adventure games you get phoenix online studios oh who are uh, they they must be really cool yeah and you get an achievement for looking them up it's oh, great God. I want to see self-help plays. Okay. <laughs> Let me look for that restaurant's name to help Robert. Just human There we alive. go. This should help Robert. And uh, yet, yeah, there's like five of them. And you think, oh, the one, yeah, Boylston says right there, basil leaf. That's the one. No. And apparently one of the ways you can solve this puzzle is just by asking John what the best Thai restaurant in town is. Because <laughs> everyone agrees. Yeah, I was going to say. You know, even the terrible ones, no one agrees on what's worse. <laughs> so we have to go in the vision to ask him Okay. About. Robert, tell me if any of these ring a bell. Apparently. <laughs> Basil leaf. Oh, that doesn't sound right. Fusion noodles. Oh, that doesn't sound right. He's a homeless person. He could obviously palace. look at a yes. lot of places. The Curry Palace. That's the one. Okay, we're making progress. Okay. <laughs> now we have to exit the vision. <laughs> Go back to the phone. At least you don't have to stand up to use the phone now. <laughs> well, I didn't before. I just did that anyway. So, Copley is the actual one. That doesn't look like it's actually on the right street either. Like, yeah. I took the map away too quickly, but... It, 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 it's a problem because you go, closest one on the way back. Well, which way are you walking? Because... Oh, oh yeah, and there's two ways to get to that. Through the vision button or through the conversation thing. And if you do it the wrong way, you can't change things in the vision. What? Why? I have no idea. It is very annoying. I'm just happy my no, my head has right. a point-and-click interface. <laughs> and we're done. Yeah. And you want the good news? Yeah, go on. We're not even halfway through this interview. You know how we were talk talking about doing them all in one go and just getting it out of the ballpark? Yeah. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the entire next interview, uh, entire next video, what you have to look forward to is more of this. <laughs> right. It's another, like, half hour or so. I'm going to make sure I get home early from work before we do that so I can get a couple of coffees in me. <laughs> we'll see how we go. Uh, but the good news after that is that after the next video, which is all interview, we just get into the final section of the game and some stuff actually happens then. I'm not sure if I'm actually excited about that, Tig, so I've got to break it to you. I'm, I'm yeah, I, I, I'm not saying it's great stuff that happens. It's, it sort of raises more questions than it answers, but then, after we've done that, that's only an hour more now. We're a quarter of the way through the whole thing. I can tell you're excited. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can you can sense the excitement. It is a uh, um, it, yeah, uh, yeah. That's right. It's a thing. <laughs>